Hello again, it's Chris Wesley, professional life coach here um, from uklifecoaching.org. Um, I've just finished a, an interesting coaching system which I wanted to tell you about today, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll start things off at the UK Life Coaching website. Uh, OK, should be a familiar scene to many of you. Um, I've added a new article uh, on goal setting, so help articles and then goal setting, and that will pop up for us. Um, and there's just some guidance in there about why goals are important um, and what makes a good goal and a bad goal. And there's something about smart goal criteria in here, so um, we'll be talking a bit more about that in a minute. Uh, the next thing we'll need is the uh, the free thing. So we go to shop, free stuff, and we pick the free goal reminders. And this pops up. This is the free goal, re goal reminder system. It's really straightforward, just a few fields to fill in, so I'll do that now. First one, your email address. It sends you reminders by email. It's important if you've got spam filters in place that you remove them. Um, the emails will come from uh, me, Chris at chriswesley.org, um, so you should open up your spam filter for that. Put in your first name so it can call you something when it speaks to you, and then you get to select how often you want the reminders. So this is the interval in days between reminders and I'm going to have one once a day. And then you come up with a goal. Think of a goal. Earn loads of dosh, for example. Um, that's not such a good goal uh, and I'll tell you why. If we go back to the criteria for a good goal, the SMART criteria, the first one is that your goal should be specific. So it says here, instead of saying earn more money, say increase my salary by 15%. And in general, wherever possible, include names and numbers, and ways to measure what it is your goal means. So, okay, earn loads of dosh isn't too smart then. So let's say um, increase income by 15%. How's that for a goal? Let's go back again and look at the criteria. It's specific now, and yes, it's measurable. You could measure income, um, and uh, that, so that's fine. Is it action-oriented? In other words, does it... Let's just read that for you. Action-oriented means set goals which you can map into actions. So can we easily map that into action? Um, well, now I think about it, I probably can. I've noticed, for example, that... Uh, Quite a few of my newsletters are never opened. So it's not that they're boring and uninterested. Well, maybe it is, but I'm thinking it's probably not because they're not even uh, not read. They're just not opened um, according to the uh, system I use that distributes my newsletters. And I think it's because people's spam filters are sending them straight into the spam basket so they're not even seen by the people that signed up. And it's worth pointing out that anyone who gets an email from me has subscribed if it's a newsletter or else they've contacted me. Um, if it's a, an ordinary email. So with that in mind, how can I manipulate this goal statement to, to be more action oriented? So what I'm going to say is research spam filters and my missing newsletters. Uh, fix problems to increase readers and online sales by 15, well, hmm, maybe not, uh, uh, online, online sales by 40% and sales income by 15%. How about that? Certainly a lot more specific, it's measurable and it's action oriented. It talks about what I'm going to do. Let's go back to the, back to the goal criteria. Um, is it realistic? Well, let's have a look. Okay, so 40% of my newsletters are not being opened. And I'm saying that that could, uh, if I fix that, that could increase sales by 15%. Well, maybe it's 10%. You know, this isn't scientific, but do the best job you can and then smile and make the best use of it you can. So, so now it's a bit more realistic. Uh, last criteria, is it time-oriented? 
deadlines, it says focus the mind and time frames are a good way to gauge how realistic something is. Set times which are a little bit tingly but not laughable or terrifying. So alright, let's have a tingly deadline here then. So research spam filters in December and fix problems to increase in online sales by f income by 40% in again let's say December or well by January so now it's got all of the boxes ticked so that's good so we'll just go straight ahead and um, set up the goal reminder by just clicking the submit button there here's the confirmation screen your goal has been set up I'll send you a confirmation so I'll just check my inbox to see if that's arrived here's the um, the email that you get which invites you to confirm that the email address you gave is really the one that you're using so all you do is to activate your goal click the link so this link appears in your inbox if you don't see this email it'll because it will be because something on your system is blocking it or else you provide an invalid email address so we'll click the button takes us back to the website your goal is now active so that's all done once the goal is set up the next thing you'll hear from the system is when you receive a reminder email and here is a reminder email it's got a pretty picture at the top hopefully um, a bit of light relief and it's it's a different picture each time there are more than 30 pictures in there there's a short hello from me uh, and then a repeat of your goal there so that's your goal there and then you can um, th there's uh, more information that can appear down here a bit later on we'll talk about that um, and the idea is you'll read that goal you'll either decide um, it's a joke in which case you'll change it I hope um, or you'll decide that it's it's something you still want and you'll renew your enthusiasm for it um, and work harder towards it so it's filling the gap that life coaching would fill. Life coaching provides a framework for maintaining focus and energy on on a goal and this system can do a similar thing um, and it's free so that's its benefit. Um, if you do find the goal seems ridiculous um, or you're too busy for that and you're always too busy for that you could of course delete it like that. The goal is gone you'll never hear from me again and that's the end of that but really perhaps what you should do is instead um, set a different set a new goal one that you don't laugh at so it's important not to throw the baby out with the bathwater alright if you can't increase your salary by 10% in the way that you thought you could do something else instead but don't don't just give up and slump back and accept that you've got to live the way you are that's not the right answer a um, couple of words about these option uh, tick boxes down here uh, if you tick this box here you're giving um, the coaching team here at uklifecoaching.org permission to um, add what they hope would be helpful information for you into your coaching emails <coughs> so what would happen is that in a panel in your um, goal reminding email there would be some advice from me or Joe or Myra uh, to try and help you in, me in reaching your goal so we would keep an eye on these goals for you optionally we don't guarantee to do that but you're giving us permission to do that if we've got the time. The next tick, spot, tick box is uh, perhaps a bit of fun. If you tick this box, or rather if you leave it ticked because it's ticked by default, um, what you're saying is it's okay for us to include the text of your goal um, in other people's goal reminder emails and similarly you can see other people's goal reminder uh, texts in your emails. So. Um, I'm hoping that that will be interesting and perhaps informative, inspirational, you might get some great ideas from other people and the goals that they've set. Your privacy is maintained, we won't include your email address or your name, just the text of your goal in anyone else's email and only if you leave this box text. The last tick box here um, randomizes the time at which you're likely to receive the email in the day. The idea here is that if they always show up at 9 on a Monday morning you might be poorly placed to give them the attention they deserve um, so if you tick this box you'll randomize the time they come during the day uh, another idea is to put instead of 7 
you might want to put six there in which case your reminders will march forward through the working week or if you put eight they'll march backwards up to you so before my voice completely pegs out um, that's that's it a brief summary of the goal setting system with some advice on setting goals it's a free reminder system and you can find it at www.uklifecoaching.org thanks for your time